Hello, we are here for uh, one video of a new set of, of videos and uh, today the program that we will show, uh, it's a general presentation, it is a software called PowerStation and PowerStation it's uh, a cam uh, milling software, um, it can do uh, specially two and a half axis uh, milling or programming, better saying. Um, it has incorporated inside also CAD functions, so uh, I don't call it a CAD CAM, but uh, it's truly a CAD CAM software. And uh, it's uh, focused mainly, as I told, in um, two and a half axis in terms of milling and uh, uh, multi axis also in terms of uh, turning and besides as functions for uh, EDM and uh, other technological processes. So, um, I will show you today a brief uh, presentation of the milling side. We will continue this set of videos uh, with the other uh, modules and then we will follow with uh, examples. But uh, we will focus today in milling because we believe that power station in particular it's uh, a perfect software for this kind of work um, in our days uh, people uh, in general uh, companies in general uh, all of them uh, look a lot to uh, multi-axis multi-complex solutions and uh, we in catsoft believe that a, a huge majority of the work uh, in terms of milling uh, still requires only simple software, um, cheaper software and that's what we want to present to the market with this power station. So um, let's try to create a couple of um, toolpaths and uh, we will start to do also a very simple geometry and we, we will speak along uh, what along with the work of creating all of this stuff. So the first step is to create a very simple uh, geometry. Um, we have this, um, I think, uh, clean interface, so a couple of pop menus with functions, okay? Uh, some icon toolbars with uh, shortcuts also, and a couple of additional things that uh, are uh, in the interface area that have um, some additional uh, options and uh, commands. Starting with some CAD functions, so first thing I will create some geometry. I have a function here called uh, shapes and I will do uh, a box and uh, with this box uh, I open this big dialog box and um, it's uh, a, a functionality of the software uh, to have uh, also for the toolpaths as we are going to see later uh, always a preview window of uh, the commands and the options that are uh, displayed uh, on the other part of the dialog box. So uh, as, as an example for this box um, I can do um, a box, uh, enter coordinates, so I will, uh, I'm entering things in millimeters, so I will do something in uh, with 200 per uh, 160. Uh, the base uh, of my box, and I can choose the base of being the corner point of box or center, I want to do uh, in center. Uh, about the shape, I can have some sh different uh, configurations on the corner, so I'll put some radius. And uh, I will do, uh, for example, a 25 mil radius on the corners. So I can put um, uh, an angle, I don't want. So simply do OK. And we have the function uh, here. So zoom in, zoom out with my mouse. And now uh, create a couple of uh, geometry inside, starting now with some uh, circles. I will use this function, arc uh, coordinates, another dialog box, this time to enter the coordinates. 
uh, something so in the middle, so uh, zero zero. Uh, radius I will use forty mil radius, so full circle, okay, and I have my circle done. Using the same option, I will create uh, some uh, smaller uh, radius. Um, in X, I will say minus 40. In Y, also minus 40. Radius here, uh, it is something like 25 mil. And do uh, OK and uh, a circle done. Now I will do something like uh, copy instead of um, doing uh, other functions by by uh, with creation. So uh, I will choose my entity, escape to finish the selection, and uh, circular pattern number of copies three copies angle between copies 90 degrees so I have again this um, preview uh, just do an OK but first I need to say center point okay and I think it's very easy very similar stuff uh, with one more circle uh, which it is done uh, in Y uh, 20 mil and the radius is 8 ok and again modify copy single choosing this thing here uh, so circular pattern again 3 copies 90 degrees uh, each one ok and like this uh, finally, some lines. Okay, I will use these functions horizontal, vertical. So, horizontal um, 8 uh, with my uh, middle mouse uh, button, call the function again, this time minus 8, and similar to vertical lines, also 8, call it again, minus 8. And I have a couple of uh, horizontal and vertical lines. Uh, now I will use a different kind of function. Uh, we have a lot of different uh, possibilities. Okay, I'm I'm uh, restricting my options to very basic functions, but uh, so that you can see some of the options. So easy extend. I want to extend this one until here. This one until here and simply start doing this okay to extend all the lines until this big circle okay and now similar uh, but doing the easy trim which uh, i i like a lot to work with uh, simply chooses um, the intersections and we will go along the drawing so simply clicking uh, in all the intersections like this okay and doing to this side and one more here like this and okay Perfect. Finally, I will make a couple of circles in the same center as the corner of this uh, exterior rectangle. So, arc, um, cursor. So, arc, cursor, center point, center of this guy. I can use the same radius center okay center okay and center and okay so i have my geometry done and now i will pass to the toolpaths okay 
So, um, I have several options. Uh, let's try to, to, to simulate a couple of things. The first thing I will do is to uh, manage the layers. And this is uh, also, I think, a very basic concept. So, current layer, uh, layer 1. Okay. I will go to machining. And I have something called uh, Operations Manager, where I define uh, my tools and my uh, technological uh, parameters. So, create a new uh, operation, clicking here to say that this is the current uh, operation, so that the program, uh, when execute the calculation, will know which is uh, the operation to choose. In color, I can choose among these colors. They are not much, but uh, okay, they are enough. I can put a, de a, de a description if I want. And uh, I can have some details. I can choose uh, material from a database. Um, I have some uh, database for tools that in my particular case I have only in uh, inches, which is not what I want to use. And uh, I can also work in terms of the tool shape. Because this is uh, a global presentation, I will not care much about uh, all of this stuff here. And even on uh, stock allowances, uh, feeds, RPMs, I will not care, okay? Uh, so simply, I want to say um, tool diameter, I want to, to use a 32 uh, millimeter uh, uh, for uh, the diameter. And I'm done here, and I will choose my toolpath. So my idea it is to uh, I have a block of material. It, I don't care which material, um, and I want to make a facing to clean the top surface. So I will use this guy. And uh, again, as you can see, we have this uh, preview. Um, I can put a, a side clearance if I want. Uh, I can use uh, a cut angle, which is interesting, to avoid uh, cutting uh, along the axis. So I can say, for example, 30 degrees. In terms of step over, uh, I can put half of the, of the diameter, so uh, 16. Uh, Z-depth minus 1, perfect. Uh, Z-clearance, I can put 1 also. I don't care about these guys here. Um, multiple, yes, uh, and I can say uh, 0.5 per cat, and top surface, zero. So, loop returns, good, okay, and simply choose the line. So, as you can see, very easy stuff, which I can rotate a little, okay, and I have two parameters uh, to uh, levels on the toolpath, so quite easy. Uh, so second toolpath, I will manage again with my layers. So I will move on and put current layer, layer 2, and I will put in off the layer 1 so that I can clean this toolpath. And now I will create a new toolpath. Uh, with the goal that I want to make a rough cut, uh, I have my top surface clean uh, at Z0 uh, level, and I want to make a rough cut from this contour to this contour from 0 until minus 10. Okay, so first uh, operations manager creating a, a new one, giving it a, a different color, for example, yellow. Uh, being the current operation now, I will do it with a 20 mil diameter tool, okay? And I will choose my uh, tool path type. So this guy, because this operation is called uh, it's, it's called it uh, pocketing. So again, you see the preview. I have a couple of different rough patterns. Uh, I will choose one of these spiral ones. So, stock allowance uh, zero again, and we have a, a code, uh, a color code for the values of the stock. So, step over, I have a 20 uh, mil diameter, I will use 10. Z depth uh, minus 10, Z clearance, it is okay. 
multiple uh, cats, I want uh, one mil per cat and the top cat uh, in zero. Uh, all lines, uh, this is a chordal deviation, so I, I need to, to use a smaller value. And uh, I have a couple of different methods to choose um, the, the chain entities. So I will leave these single pick chains. So, okay. And now this contour and this contour and escape. And we have the calculation done. Let us do a 3D view. As you can see, it seems good. Okay, very fast, very simple. So, no big problems doing this. Um, again, same procedure. Uh, opening the layers, moving one more layer uh, off the layer 2. And now that I have uh, a 20 mil um, all around, I can do something like um, I need to open these slots. So uh, I, I need a tool to enter in these slots here. And I will uh, zoom in a little. So again, machining, operations manager, uh, a new one. Uh, we can do it in green and uh, I will use a tool. Uh, this slot has uh, 16 uh, millimeters uh, length, so I need to use, for example, a 12 millimeter uh, tool. And um, I can do now a different uh, tool type uh, called the profiling which is this one, and uh, start line, this line here, and uh, stopping in this one. So, yes, it is okay, and the size, it is inside. So, uh, I have uh, depth per, so first, sorry, uh, multiple Z depth, so depth per cut, um, I will use again one millimeter, top of part, okay, everything it is correct. Um, and I think all it is okay. So as you can see, we have a lot of different uh, options here. So, okay. And we have our tool path created, which we can see again in 3D view. And as you can see, uh, the idea was to open the slot from 0 until minus uh, 10 and we get only uh, one pass. So now um, we can do something like uh, opening uh, this uh, special window uh, which uh, shows uh, all uh, or the three of uh, parameters, job information, and all the operations that are defined. And in this uh, list, I can open, in this particular case, my toolpath and edit uh, the conditions that uh, the program uh, used to calculate it. So I have this problem here, which is the total Z depth should be minus 10. Okay. And I have these codes for uh, with colors that says jobs need reprocessing because I've changed a parameter, so reprocess it. And I suppose now it should be okay. Good. Um, so close it, do it uh, in uh, XY view. And now I could use uh, two ideas. Uh, the first one was to use the same process and calculate a toolpath for each one of these slots or uh, being the part uh, equal in all these slots. I can do a more clever thing, which is machining, uh, utilities, repeat an operation. Uh, I can choose this operation here and I can have a circular mode, three operations, 90 degrees, 
all perfect e center point origin and we should have everything perfect okay so i think it's uh, very fast very easy to understand so no big deal so um until now everything uh, very easy um we will move again to the next layer of the current one and now we will do uh, a drilling to show uh, how to do drilling in here and if it if it was a center drill it was the same process so it's uh, basic stuff so machining again operations manager we can define a new one okay current um, we can define a tool diameter, for example, uh, eight millimeter diameter, which is uh, the size of those uh, holes. Um, we can do something called uh, drilling. We have a couple of methods to, to do it. Uh, I will choose this one, random locations. And as you can see, we have a lot of different uh, cycles which we can use. I will keep the standard drilling. Um, we have a lot of different uh, possibilities. I want to do uh, full depth, top of part zero. Uh, depth for full diameter, I will say minus 10 also. Uh, we can use some of these options. I will not care much about them because as you can see, we have, uh, this is basic. So, uh, okay, and simply click, 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 and click, and it's done. So, once again, 3D view, we have the program done. So, faster, I think it's impossible. Um, moving again, and for the last uh, toolpath type, uh, something a little different. Uh, I want to show you uh, engraving. Uh, so engraving, we can choose uh, some text. So among this one, let me do the simplex. Uh, you can have some linear text type or uh, along an arc, something like this. It's not very difficult. Let us say this particular case. Uh, text height, uh, okay, I, I really don't care about it. Um, arc radius, uh, let us try to do something like uh, 30, for example, 30 mil. I'm not sure where this will uh, uh, go, but uh, let us start. Let us put uh, Cat Soft Portugal. And uh, I want to output this in tool motion. Uh, I think I'm not forgetting anything. So center point, okay. Uh, I forgot, yeah. Uh, I will do a different one. Uh, I forgot the text height. This is quite small, so. Uh, text height, I will say uh, 10. Um, so minus 1, minus, minus, minus uh, 11, for example. Uh, arc radius, start angle. Okay, let us do it again. Okay, something like this. Even so, it's not uh, the radius. It's not good. Uh, I would I will make another try. <laughs> Sorry for, but let us say fifty, and let us uh, do it again. Okay, now, and as you can see, I'm creating engravings, and the program is using uh, the tool that I have because. Uh, I have it here, okay? Uh, let me create a new one for the purpose. It's not so here. 
I will make a new color. We can have these in uh, purple, no problem. And I want to have a tool, a diameter of 0.2, for example, a small one. And um, now, if I want an engraving, uh, okay, start angle, I will say uh, 180. Okay, now I have what I want and it is more visible. So let us do this kind of of stuff and he, here it is, okay? So these are the operations. Uh, I think they are uh, easy. Let us open all the layers. So we'll have all the toolpaths around. And we can do with this now uh, the final thing. It is, for example, do the, the post processor. Uh, in the post processor, uh, we, we will have another lesson showing how to create a post processor, which is uh, quite easy. Uh, post processors are one of the problematic options in all CAM softwares. It's not the case in here, which is very interesting. So I can choose a machine. Uh, I can uh, choose a, a file name for the post-processed file. Uh, I can call it whatever. Okay. And uh, I can uh, show the text and say go. Number for the program. And okay, it's processing. And it is done. If you code, if you want. And we have all the code around here. So very easy, really easy. And believe me, it is really easy also to create and to define the post processors, okay? Um, another uh, option here, it is also um, the process to create um, a document with a resume of uh, all of these tool paths and the information for the project. Um, we can have uh, a couple of things. First, uh, we can define, uh, if, if it is the case, some preferences. So we can do uh, some uh, highlights of this. YouTube uh, video, uh, drawing number, whatever it is, uh, revision uh, one. This is drawn by uh, CatSoft. Portugal, uh, customer YouTube, comments, uh, trials, no more comments, okay, uh, or saying trials one, trials two, and okay, good. Now if I do uh, a print here, I can create a PDF and it will ask me for uh, a name and i will use uh, a name to create this okay let's wait a little okay already asking for a name so so uh, Not sure if ah, okay, it was so AA, and we should have AA here, and as you can see, I have I have my comments on the top, and I have some uh, informations about uh, what each one of these operations does. So it's um, I think it's uh, relatively easy also uh, about this. I, can, I could print also some uh, uh, images of uh, the part if it is interesting or I can go also to operations manager and to print it here and let us uh, use I hope uh, without any issues okay I will say now BB 
this has already a couple of lines of code so it takes a little more a little more time to process this okay so it's creating something and in here you have uh, the operations and you have no parameters because I did not define any parameters but we, we, we can work also around uh, the output of this uh, PDF file so also uh, it's also uh, re relatively easy to work with so let us Uh, sorry. Uh, where it is? Okay. Uh, finally, uh, I want to show you um, the simulation of these toolpaths. So I can go uh, in here and to create this stock definition for the verification. I can calculate the extents and the software will choose uh, the dimension. This is uh, a little strange because um, the origin is it's not uh, where it should be in this particular case. So uh, this is uh, in one of the corners. So I will say um, the origin uh, it's in minus 100 and minus 80 which is half of my dimension the z it is okay and the dimension it is 260 uh, sorry uh, 200 per um, 160 and the height i will say minus 20 and good and i have this kind of environment Okay, as you can see, I have my toolpaths around. Uh, I have a couple of uh, functions. Um, first, I will define my tool list. I need to uh, put the height because I have very small um, tools. So let us say 20 for all of the, all of the tools. And to see, okay, and simulate, okay, something like this, and let us start to see. We can have a couple of uh, options to to control the what what they are doing, but I think the important is to see the concept uh, of this. So uh, I think it's not so difficult to understand it's so it's, it's not very difficult difficult to understand uh, the idea of this so okay um so we have a simulation around um we can have, uh, this is not one of the best um, simulators in the market, but uh, we can see a little about uh, what the software will do in terms of, uh, of programs. Uh, I, I don't think it's uh, too much important because being 2D uh, toolpaths, um, it is uh, quite easy to control this with the views and to 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 check uh, the movements and to check uh, what each one of these things does. So it's not uh, crucial to have uh, that simulation, even that you can uh, work a little around it. So in terms of uh, the milling side of power station and as a general presentation, um, I think we've covered a couple of interesting topics uh, I mentioned to you and I will uh, refer it again we will have more videos this is the first video of this new set that we are starting to release now uh, the next one will be about uh, turning 
and uh, it will release in a couple of days. So for the moment I hope uh, you enjoy watching this video. I hope this um, uh, opens your appetite in terms of knowing more about Power Station and we are here to clarify everything that uh, you may want to ask us or if you need some support. So, um, okay, I, I hope this uh, brings you some fun and in case of help, in case of general questions that you may have about the software, uh, you can contact us through the usual means being those, uh, the email and the comments uh, in a YouTube video.